Question 22. This chart shows the amount of money spent in a toy shop in three months. And there's a picture of the toy shop, the outside of the toy shop. We're not really interested in the picture, so let's scroll down. Now the first part of the question says how much more money was spent in the shop in December than in November. So the first thing we need to do is find out what was spent in both of these months, November and December. Now we've got a scale across the bottom. Now each big gap on the scale is worth £10,000, but between each big gap we've got one, two, three, four mini gaps. So the question is, what is each mini gap worth? Well, if you split £10,000 into four, because there are four mini gaps, you'll get what each one is worth. So to divide by four, half it, which is 5000 then half it again, which is 2,500. So each mini gap must be going up in 2,500 pounds. So the first one here would be zero. Next mini gap up would be 2,500, then 5,000, then 7,500, then 10,000. So using that information, we can now work out how much we was spent in the shop in December. So December, this line here is 30,000, so the next line across from that would be an extra 2,500. So in December, it was 32,500 pounds. In November, November is halfway between 10,000 and 20,000, so that is actually going to be 15,000. So November, is 15,000. Now we've got to find out how much more December was than November. So in other words, we find the difference. Anytime you find the difference, you can do a subtraction. So 32,500 subtract 15,000. So all we've got to do, work out the subtraction and we'll get the answer. 0 take away 0 is 0, 0 take away 0 again is 0 again, 5 take away 0 is 5, 2 take away 5 we can't do, so we need to borrow 1, that now becomes 12, 12 take away 5 is 7, and 2 take away 1 is 1. So the final answer is £17,500. Moving down to the second part of the question, we will get a different colour to avoid confusion. It says, Stefan says that in November there was a 100% increase on the money spent in October. Is he correct, yes or no? Well, a 100% increase is another way of saying you double your money. If you double something, you increase it by 100%. So, for example, if I've got the number 2, if I 100% increase on 2, I need to add another 2 to it, which is 4. So 100% increase on that 2 has got me 4. So I've basically just doubled it. The same can be said for any number. So if you add 15, 100% increase would be to add another 15 onto it, which would be 30. So 100% increase means you are doubling the answer. So what we need to find is the amount for November and the amount for October and see if it's been doubled. So October and November is what we're looking for. Let's go back to the graph and find November. So November, we've already got here, was 15,000. And October is 2,500, 5,000 to there, and then the third one will be 7,500. So 7,500 is October. Now the question is, is it double? Well, if we try and multiply 7,500 by 2, if we come out with 15,000, we can see that it's been doubled. 
two zeros are zero, two zeros are zero again, two five are ten, put zero in carry one, two sevens are fourteen, plus that one is fifteen. So indeed we have doubled our money. And if we doubled our money, there was a hundred percent increase. So what we need to do is circle yes and say that if it's a hundred percent increase means double. So seven thousand five hundred doubled is fifteen thousand pounds. And that is basically the best way of explaining that that we can do.